Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the Scubana e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Scubana is a platform to manage your entire e-commerce operation. Today, we have Jason Boyce. He's co-founder and CEO of Dazadi.com. They sell home recreational products, including basketball hoops, game tables, fitness equipment, bikes, and much more. He has over 13 years of e-commerce experience and started Dazadi.com in 2002 with his three brothers. They have over 10,000 products on their site. And the amazing thing is they have 100,000 SKUs in queue. Jason, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Jeremy. It's such a pleasure to be here. Such an honor that you would uh, have me on your show. Since it's this Hubani Commerce Mastery Series, my question sure. to you is, where, what should we leave people with, with e-commerce? We talked about a lot of different aspects. What should be what you know the last takeaway? Well, I, I, I think... I think there's there's a, there's three things, right? Yeah. Number one, turn down the noise and keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Don't chase the latest bell and whistle if the basics aren't working optimally, right? Turn down the noise. Know who you are because don't go chasing Amazon if you don't have the funding to do it because it's a it's a rest, it's a path to ruin. Right. Number two, watch those financials. If you don't know how your financials work. Hire a good accountant to train you or take a course. You've got to know that P&L and the balance sheet. Yeah. And you've got to make sure that at the end of the day, that net profit is, is not, doesn't have a big negative sign in front of it. Because right. so if you're a bootstrap company, if you're not doing the things that will do that, you're not going to stick around and you're just not going to be there. One, just one side note on item number two before I go to the final point is yeah. paying attention on a high growth company when you start growing at a double digit, we're, we're pushing triple digit right now. Focus on the cost as a percentage of your sale, right? Make sure that those, if you're, if you're selling for a dollar, make sure that after your profit is left over and your, your rent and whatever other your salary expenses are, make sure that, that there's still something left at that dollar after everything has been paid for. Yeah. So, um, and then, you know, the, the, the last thing for a bootstrap company that I would recommend is know your resources, right? It kind of doubles with number one where you can't go chasing Amazon, but mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm going to leave you with one last story about the Marines. Yeah. You know, Marine stories. Yes, so, yes. <laughs> one of the exercises in Quantico that we did is we had these terrain model tables. It was a table on wheels, and it was just a wood box, and it had sand, right? And so one of the ways that we trained for our missions was the captain would come over and say, here's your mission, lieutenant. Um, attack the hill. And so you would, take the tr- you would take your topographical map, and you would build out, it was like playing in dirt, which was one of the, another great benefits of being in the Marines. <laughs> You'd build up your terrain map, map uh, on this table topographically. And one of the best lessons I, I ever learned was from, from, uh, from Captain Scott. He gave me the mission to attack the hill, and I put together this very elaborate plan that included close air support from a Harrier jump jet, uh, you know, artillery fire from, uh, from a naval carrier, <laughs> helicopter support, gun support. I mean, the, the hill wasn't left after I put this thing together. It was, it was basically flat land. But he says, that's a really great detailed plan, Lieutenant, but here's the problem. You don't have close air support. There's no artillery within, you know, a thousand miles. There is no naval ship off the coast. You're on your own. Now make the plan. So then I had to look at what my resources were. Mm-hmm. I had to see that I only had 30 Marines. And of those 30 Marines, I only had so many machine guns. I had so many M16s, you know, and I had so many explosives with me. So I had to take a look at the resources that I had and then develop a mission to attack that hill. Yeah. Because the greatest plan that you can make is only as good as the resources that you have to bring to bear. When you're watching CNBC and you hear these great stories about these crazy growth patterns and everything, before you go chasing them, make sure that you have the resources in order to fulfill that mission and that plan. Yeah. Jason, it's been an absolute pleasure. I hope one day we get to play basketball together. Jeremy, you gotta come, you gotta come for a Shabbos dinner next time you're in Los Angeles for sure. And I, I, I also want to just say I uh, another double-edged sword. I've been looking at your website lately, and you have such great 
content oh, on your site. Thank you. The only problem is, is after my kids go to sleep, I'm coming on my computer and my iPad and I'm watching all this and I'm sleep deprived right now. <laughs> I blame you, Jeremy. So Not compared to the Marine days. So. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Great work. I love that content. I appreciate it, Jason. Absolute pleasure. Thank you, Jeremy. Take care.